partner content Mike Brooks and Tony Foster, lead managers of the Aberdeen Diversified Income. By definition, all investment portfolios are diversified. But rather like the animals in George Orwell's famous novella, some portfolios are more diversified than others. The traditional multi-asset investment fund approach offers a mix of bonds and equities with the objective of creating a potential smooth return over the medium to long term. This traditional style, an old-fashioned balanced fund often used for pensions, is split typically 60 to 40 between the two major asset classes. But while this strategy has generally served investors well over the past 10 to 30 years, producing good returns with lower volatility than equity markets alone, looking forward Brooks and Foster believe that this approach faces significant headwinds, source Bloomberg, May 2018. Firstly, the unprecedented monetary easing policies followed by several central banks in recent years have pushed bond yields to historic lows, and negative territory in some countries means government bonds are unlikely to produce the high returns of the past. Secondly, equity markets have also benefited from the monetary easing policies of central banks, reaching new highs despite generally challenging economic conditions. Whilst this has dampened equity market volatility in recent years, the risks to equity markets have not gone away and may well resurface when the support from central banks eventually tapers off. To counteract such challenges facing traditional asset classes Brooks and Foster believe investors need to consider a genuine spread of assets, where each investment area can make a meaningful outcome to the overall return they are looking for. Diversified investment examples taking this approach opens the door to a much wider range of investment choice, including alternative asset classes such as social and renewable infrastructure, private equity and farmland, as well. As fixed income asset classes such as emerging market bonds and loans, which when used alongside developed market equities, can create the genuine diversification that should cushion downturns, volatility and negative risks. As a recent example of diversifying investments, the Trust has an investment in an Aberdeen social infrastructure fund developing projects in Australia, the United States and New Zealand including schools, law courts and the Perth Stadium. It also benefits from several secondary private equity stakes, sourced from the private equity team, that is throwing off cash. In terms of bond exposure, emerging market bonds, in many cases offering yields in excess of 6%, appear compelling via a well-diversified portfolio of local currency bonds with a broad balance of exposures to countries in Asia, Latin America, Eastern Europe and Africa. The fact the trust can also take advantage of longer-term investments such as farmland and residential property within a diversified structure also helps to generate an attractive and sustainable yield for shareholders, according to Foster. Many of the investment we hold are naturally income generating. This includes asset classes such as asset-backed securities or corporate loans which are floating rate, he adds. Such diversification cannot be achieved through an old-fashioned formulaic mix of bonds and equities designed for a different age, according to Brooks. Not least, while different asset classes exhibit different risk and return characteristics, some of which offer diversification, all too often in times of stress traditional asset classes can easily find themselves correlated to each other, as seen in the 2008 crisis. Brooks points to the first 10 years of the investing decade of this century from 2000 to 2010 where the returns from equities were lower than cash. A traditionally diversified portfolio of bonds and equities would not have served investors well over the period. But by using a full range of asset classes, a much smoother, ideally positive return could be achieved, he says, pointing to the crunch year of 2008 which saw the start of the global financial crisis. In 2008, emerging market equities fell in value in sterling terms by 30%, but by comparison, emerging markets bonds, also in sterling terms, rose in value by 30% during the year. 
In addition, Brooks believes it's also important to try and insulate portfolios against different risk scenarios. He points into the sell-off at end January, early February this year, when most equity markets fell because of concerns over rising U.S. inflation and potentially rising interest rates. He adds there's a temptation for managers to express their negative or cautious investment outlook by holding high levels of cash. However, in taking such a default position, you are surrendering longer-term growth and income for just a short-term tactical position. Brooks says the trust tends to have a very low exposure to cash which he sees as a blunt instrument which in itself can be a drag on returns, preferring to be as fully invested as possible to enhance the benefits of diversification. Other investments, such as insurance-linked securities and alternative risk premia, can provide protection in certain scenarios and produce a positive return by comparison, adds Foster. Portfolio Asset Allocation Strategy The trust's portfolio had, at the end of last year, some 12 asset allocation categories ranging from private equity, listed equities, emerging market debt, property and infrastructure through to insurance-linked assets and what we call special opportunities, unusual asset classes such as healthcare royalties and aircraft leasing. The trust aims to generate a sustainable dividend with the potential to grow, and importantly from a portfolio with an expected volatility around half that of equities. The investment objective of ADIG is a target return of LIBOR, the London Interbank Offered Rate, which is roughly equivalent to the base interest rate, plus 5.5% per annum, net of fees, over rolling five-year periods, asterisk the annualized dividend based on the annual results to the 30th of September 2017 was 5.24p per share, a dividend yield of 4.2%. The trust now has net assets of £428 million at the end of March 2018 and the ongoing annual charges are 0.58%. The board operates a discount control policy which sees a repurchase of shares at a 5% discount to the net asset value, subject to normal market conditions. Mike Brooks and Tony Foster have extensive experience in diversified investment strategies, working within Aberdeen Standard Investments' very strong global network of investment resources including a range of specialist asset class teams at its disposal, drawing on expertise from the equities, fixed income, property, quantitative strategies, private equity, alternatives, infrastructure and real assets teams. Further reading from Aberdeen Standard Investments, the free lunch of diversification within your investment portfolio asterisk this is an internal performance target which the investment manager aims to achieve is at the date of this document. This target is not based on past performance, may be subject to change and cannot be guaranteed. Investors should always refer to the investment objective and restrictions as stated in the latest prospectus. Risk factors you should consider prior to investing, the value of investments and the income from them can fall and investors may get back less than the amount invested. The investment places capital at risk and there is no guarantee that the performance target will be achieved over any time period. Past performance is not a guide to future results. Investment in the company may not be appropriate for investors who plan to withdraw their money within five years. The company may borrow to finance further investment gearing. The use of gearing is likely to lead to volatility in the net asset value, NAV meaning that any movement in the value of the company's assets will result in a magnified movement in the NAV. The company may accumulate investment positions which represent more than normal trading volumes which may make it difficult to realize investments and may lead to volatility in the market price of the company's shares. There is no guarantee that the market price of the company's shares will fully reflect their underlying net asset value. As with all stock exchange investments the value of the company's shares purchased will immediately fall by the difference between the buying and selling prices, the bid offer spread. If trading volumes fall, the bid offer spread can widen. 
yields are estimated figures and may fluctuate, there are no guarantees that future dividends will match or exceed historic dividends and certain investors may be subject to further tax on dividends. Derivatives may be used subject to restrictions set out for the company, in order to manage risk and generate income. The market and derivatives can be volatile and there is a higher than average risk of loss. The company may invest in alternative investments including direct lending, commercial property, renewable energy and mortgage strategies. Such investments may be relatively illiquid and it may be difficult for the company to realize these investments over a short time period, which may make it difficult to realize investments and may lead to volatility in the market price of the company's shares. Investing globally can bring additional returns and diversify risk. However, currency exchange rate fluctuations may have a positive or negative impact on the value of investments. Other important information, issued by Aberdeen Asset Managers Limited which is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority in the United Kingdom. Registered Office, 10 Queen's Terrace, Aberdeen AB 10, 1YG. Registered in Scotland, number 108419. An investment trust should be considered only as part of a balanced portfolio. Under no circumstances should this information be considered as an offer, investment recommendation or solicitation to deal in investments. Aberdeen Standard Investments is a brand of the investment businesses of Aberdeen Asset Management and Standard Life Investments. Find out more at www.aberdeendiversify.co.uk